guys in today's video we are actually going to be heading over to zwf down here in south florida we are going to be picking up these newborn asian small clawed otters oh, i do a little noise hi bubba come in bubba come in oh that's some good milk what is up guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are having an amazing wednesday so far so guys in today's video we are actually going to be heading over to zwf down here in south florida and we are going to be picking up drum roll please we're going to be picking up these newborn asian small clawed otters so guys, the reason I'm going to be taking care of these baby newborn otters is because ever since the mom has given birth to them, we have watched her closely and gradually over time, we have noticed that she is not lactating enough. Now what that means is she is not producing enough milk, these babies aren't growing, and they're not gaining enough weight for their age. So these babies had to be removed from the enclosure so we will be able to monitor them closely. Now these otters are not my otters, they are Mario from Zoological Wildlife Foundation. Now guys, if you want to go check them out and visit them when you are in Miami, I'm going to link everything you guys need to know in the description down below. So go check that out guys, trust me, it is an amazing place and you will not be disappointed. Now guys, I'm going to be hand rearing two little baby otters. There is a male and there is a female. The male is about four weeks old and the female is about three weeks old and they still have not yet opened their eyes and they are actually going to open their eyes in the upcoming days. But as for right now, we're going to head inside. We're going to get all the supplies we need and anything else to go pick up these babies. So I got the carrier in my hand right here and you can see it's completely empty and the carrier is pretty much all that we need to pick up these little babies. So I'm going to jump in my car and we're going to head to ZWF. A little later. So right now I'm outside of ZWF and I already got the little babies. They're right there in the little carrier and I decided to cover it since it is cold in my car. I don't want these babies to get cold to keep them nice and warm covered in the little carrier. But guys these babies are so adorable i cannot wait to show you guys but i don't want to take them out right now since i don't want to stress them out since i'm about to drive home so i'll catch you all once i get there now guys we have the little babies right here and i set them up in my bathroom because if i keep this door closed it stays pretty warm in here we don't want them to get too cold so guys i'm gonna open them and we're gonna take a peek at them for the first time ever <sighs> Oh my goodness, you can see that they're taking a nice little otter nap. You can see this is the female right here. She is a lot lighter if I pick her up right here. Good afternoon. Oh, I do a little noise. Hi. So if you look at their eyes right here, that's where their eye is. They are completely sealed shut. Now we'll open in a couple days. So let me pick up the male. He is completely knocked out. Hello, little baby. You're too cute. Now guys, what we're going to be doing is before we can feed them, we must weigh them. Now the reason for weighing them is because we want to record their weight every single day. Now I'm going to be recording it at their first feeding every morning before I feed them so we can make sure that they are gaining weight properly. So I got my notebook right here to record the weight and the feedings. I got the scale and I got the little bowl to put them in. So I want to take this scale. I'm going to zero it out and we're going to weigh them in grams zero it out now i'm gonna write male right here and we are gonna pick him up and we are gonna weigh him right now come here little buddy you are so adorable okay 341 they're 340 now we're gonna pick him up and put him back in to weigh him a second time to make sure that we got the correct reading and we did he is about 340 grams so we're gonna put 340 and put today's date and now we are going to take the female oh i know i know you're so sleepy tired okay come here little girl and she is 297 let's try one more time i know 298 so she's about 297 298 you can definitely tell that she is a lot smaller than the male and that is because the females tend to be smaller than the males. And she is also a week younger than the males. So she is obviously going to be a lot smaller. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head to the kitchen. We are going to get the formula ready to feed these little babies. 
All right, guys, so we have all of our supplies right here. We got the boiling hot water that we are gonna put in here to heat up the milk, and then we're gonna store our milk in here, and we're gonna put it in here and heat it up when we need to feed these babies. You can see right here, we have the little Dubon bottles with the tiny nipples, which is perfect for feeding these type of babies. We also got the syringe to measure out exactly how much they're gonna be eating. This tablespoon to be measuring out the puppy milk that we have to mix in. So let's go ahead and make some puppy milk. We're gonna make a fresh batch. So I'm gonna scoop one out, get it nice and even and pour it in here. And then I'm gonna scoop a, another teaspoon out just like this and put it right here. Now when making milk for baby animals, especially exotic animals, you always want to use distilled water because if you use tap water from your sink, you are risking these babies getting nasty bacteria in their stomach and getting really sick. So you always want to use this nice purified water. So we are going to do two scoops of water for every scoop of formula. So we're going to add four scoops of water. We're going to add the last one right here and then just add a little bit. Okay, now that is perfect. We're gonna put this cap back on right here and we're just gonna stir this up until it is nice and ready. A few moments later. All right guys, now since the milk is nice and ready to feed these little babies, I'm gonna pop the cap on right here and I'm gonna take this boiling water and I'm gonna pour it in this glass dish. So you can see how hot it is by the glass fogging up on the sides. And then we're gonna take our milk and we're gonna stick it in here and we're gonna wait until it gets nice and warm. Since we have the formula ready and it's heating up right here in this bowl, we got the bottles, we got the syringe, we have our entire station set up. And we also got the toilet paper because we are gonna be dipping this in the warm water and stimulating them because since they are only three, four weeks old, they still cannot pee or poop on their own. So we're gonna help them out with that. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer so this milk can heat up right here and then we're gonna get to feeding them. Now that it's been a couple minutes, I'm gonna take this milk out, give it a nice little stir and open it and we're gonna see how hot it is with my finger so it's a little too warm so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna blow on it just like this and then we're gonna give it another stir around to see and guys that is just perfect so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna take my syringe and since these babies are eating 12 milliliters that is exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna feed the little boy first we're gonna squirt the 10 in, and then we're gonna need to pull two more milliliters out. And bam, it is ready to feed him. So we're gonna pop this back on. We're gonna stick it in the water so it can be nice and warm for the girl. And we're gonna get to feeding him. Now you can see that they're nice and snuggled up to each other. So you can definitely tell right now that the male is definitely bigger than the female and just look how much lighter she is than him so i'm gonna take him out good morning or good afternoon it's time to eat oh, it's time to eat let me wake you up oh so guys i'm gonna place him on his stomach because we must feed him on his stomach i am gonna put that he's already looking for the nipple okay that's not the nipple open his mouth up and stick it right here it's gonna take him a second to get used to the nipple because it is the first time that they haven't used this nipple. Oh, guys, I got the hang of it. So I'm gonna cut him off right there because you can see he is chugging the bottle. He is starving and we don't wanna aspirate him, which means he can choke on the milk, it can come up to his nose and some of it will actually get in his lungs. And over time with that happening, that will accumulate in his lungs and he can get really, really sick with pneumonia. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna give him a little break and you can see he's looking for the nipple again. Here it is, buddy. You have a little more milk. Come on. Oh, he hasn't gotten it yet. The milk is in the mouth. Oh, that's so good bottle. And now we're gonna give him a break again. And I'm actually gonna burp him because you hear some air got in his stomach. We don't want his stomach to get expanded because of the air in it. So we're just gonna give him a nice little pat on the back with the little milk on his mouth. And let's hear if you can hear him burp. Oh, guys, did you hear that this little guy just burped? So now we're going to feed him the rest of his bottle. Come here, little buddy. That was a good burp. Oh, you're such a good eater. Oh, that's some nice, tasty milk. We're going to give him another break. Let him swallow that milk down. You can see that he just swallowed all of it down. 
Are you ready for the last little bit, buddy? Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna give him the last little bit. Come on, it's in your mouth. Are you done? Oh, and there you have it. You can hear, guys, that you heard air. That means he is completely done with his bottle. And we're just going to clean his mouth up right here. We'll get the milk off for you. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to burp him again. And then I'm going to place him back in there, feed the female, and then we're going to stimulate them. The bottle is ready to go now, guys. So we're going to open this up and we're going to wake up the female. So you can see she is completely knocked out come on mama you gotta wake up now she is a lot more vocal than the male she's a little a little active little girl you can see hi hi okay we're gonna feed you now okay so i know i know baba come in baba come in oh that's so good milk now we're gonna cut her off right there because you can see she is completely chugging it just like the male was we're gonna give her a couple seconds to swallow that milk down and then we're gonna go again is is that i do i do swallow it all i don't swallow it all yeah okay let's go for round two okay come on they're such great eaters that baba is so good now, since she ate half of the bottle, we're going to give her a second to swallow that. We're going to burp her, and then we're going to give her the rest of her bottle. Oh, I know. That was so yummy. That was yummy. Oh, guys, you hear that right there? She just burped. So now we're going to give her the rest of her bottle. You got all the air up. I know. I know you're hungry, okay? We're going to feed you. Now you see that she didn't want to keep sucking the bottle, so we're not going to force her. We're going to give her a second to completely swallow it, and then we're going to try again to give her the rest of the bottle. I know, I know, you're hungry. Guys, this little diva is crying up a storm. Now right now, she is looking for the nipple, and if I just hold it right here, oh, it's okay. So guys, the reason she might not want to be eating this bottle is because it may be cold, so we're going to stick our finger in here, and yes, this bottle does need to be heated up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. It's okay. It's okay. You are so loud. It's okay. And we're going to stick it back in the warm water and give it a couple minutes for it to heat up. A few minutes later. So guys, she's about to finish her bottle. And there, she has finished her bottle. So we're going to burp her one last time. I know. I know. It's okay. And then after she gets a nice burp out, we're going to then stimulate them so they can go to the bathroom. So we got the little male right here. Now I'm going to take my tissue and I'm going to dip it in this water right here because we want it nice and warm and a little damp to replicate the mom. We're going to open it up right here. And it just broke. We're going to get the second one ready. And then we're going to place it right here and we're going to stimulate him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold him just like this. You can see that he is peeing a lot. Oh, I know you don't like it. And there, there, there he's pooping. I think, oh, yep, he got poop on me. Ugh. So we're going to continue to stimulate him. I don't know if he's going to poop anymore, but you can see he's still peeing up a storm. He has a lot of pee to get out of him. Come on, buddy. Up oh, there, he pooped a little bit more. We're going to wipe it. We're going to dip this second one in here and we're gonna try again to see if he needs to pee anymore i know it doesn't feel good it feels not good okay guys he isn't peeing anymore so i think he's done i'm gonna wipe his little booty and i'm gonna put him back in the carrier and i'm gonna take the female out to stimulate her i'm gonna grab the tissue right here i'm gonna be cautious this time and grab extra in case i get pooped on so dip this one. Okay. And you can see right here that she is peeing a lot too. And oh, there her poop comes out. So we're going to wipe her little butt, put that in the pile, and repeat everything again. Let's see if she needs to poop anymore. You can see, oh my goodness, you're peeing so much. How much pee do you have in your bladder? So much pee. I know, we're almost done. You are, you are a little 
little diva screaming up a storm. Okay, and she is still peeing. Okay, we're gonna try again. I don't think she's gonna poop again, but we're gonna try to see if she needs to pee anymore to get all of it out of her system. I know, we're almost done, Mama. We're almost done. And she isn't peeing anymore, so she just used the bathroom and she is done. And she she is not having any. You're having a little tantrum. So we're gonna put her back in here to snuggle up next to her brother. And if you look right here, guys, I actually put a warm water bottle right here. Now, the reason I have this is because since they are so young, they cannot regulate their body temperature. Now, I would usually put a heating pad, but since they are in the small carrier and they are learning to walk, they don't need a huge, giant playpen. So that's why they're in here. And the reason I'm not using a heating pad is because the heating pad will take up the entire carrier. And now the reason I'm not gonna use it is because if these babies get too hot, we want them to cool down and they would have no place to cool down. So we don't want them to overheat. So this water bottle is nice and warm, nice and perfect. And every feeding I heat it up and every time I'm going to heat it up. So now that it is a little cold from the car ride, I'm going to take it out and we're going to take it and we're going to heat it up again. All right, guys, so now that these guys have eaten their bottle and they have gone to the bathroom, it is time for them to take a long otter nap because I have to feed them in the next three hours. So, guys, before we end today's video, I want you to stop what you're doing right now and comment down below a name for these two little babies. Keep in mind that this one is a male and this one is a female. Now, guys, if I like the name that you pick, then I may choose you in the next video and shout you out for naming these little babies. Now, guys, that is going to conclude today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have seen anything cuter than these little babies. It's okay. She is crying up a storm. Now, guys, if you're ever in the South Florida area and you want to check out DWF, you want to play with tigers, lions, and a bunch of exotic animals, well, what are you waiting for? I'm going to link the description down below of their website, the Instagram, so you can guys can check it out and book your own encounter.